Hi, in this screencast we're going to talk about an important concept called the box model concept. Uh, if you'll be using CSS to do your page layouts, then you'll need to understand the basics of this box model concept. Okay, I've composed a page for you to look at. Uh, so, in order to uh, understand a box model concept, uh, you need to keep three things in mind. Okay. First of all, uh, every HTML element is rectangular. Okay, uh, a table. Okay, uh, as you can see, is rectangular. Okay, uh, no matter how nested it is, um, it's always in a rectangular form. Okay, uh, an image will always be in rectangular form too. Okay. Uh, because as you can see here this uh, you have to style it using width and height and um, most likely uh, this would be rectangular right or square even with a circular image okay um, it's still uh, an image a rectangular image but having the sides maybe uh, blending into the background of the color maybe it's white you know uh, so when you see circular image, uh, it may uh, it it's still a uh, a rectangular uh, piece of image. Okay. Same with uh, radio buttons. Uh, even though it's round in shape, uh, it's still controlled by width and height. Okay. And uh, if I click on the radio button, you'll see these the dash lines. Okay. So you'll see that it's actually still uh, rectangular, but in this case, I made it square. Okay. So uh, the second point thing you have to remember is uh, think of each element as a box. Okay. Uh, I have a div here. Okay. This is the cone uh, that is a width 100 pixel with a height 100 pixel and a, a background color of blue. Okay. And Think of this as a box, okay, a div box, okay, and we have a nested box here, okay, nested container box. So we have a big body that has background white, right, and then we have a uh, a small orange box, okay, containing a smaller green box, okay, and this is what the code would look like orange box and the green box okay so think of these uh, each containing element or each element as its own box okay and so uh, you also need to know that each box is wrapped by layers of decorating properties okay uh, I'm gonna show you uh, more in detail about what this means okay and uh, with these decorating properties you'll be able to set its final uh, this uh, box's uh, final position on the web page and its final appearance okay so I'm gonna use a tool from um, uh, for Firefox. It's an add-on, an extension that you can install onto Firefox. It's called a Firebug. I'm going to launch it now. It's going to look uh, weird. It's part. It has become part of the, uh, the browser, so don't worry. Uh, so this tool allows me to inspect a certain element and then look at the, um, the HTML of it, right? And when I click on the element, uh, it highlights the element. And what I'm interested in is the layouts. Okay. So this is what I mean by box model. If I mouse over a certain area, it gets highlighted, right? Okay. So if I have a box that has um, 100 width, right, and a height of 100 pixels, which is here, this is called the content area right and then wrapping around this box uh, there's padding okay and then there's border and then there's margin and then there's offset 
okay, from the top and left of the page. Okay, so let's go back. We have a box, okay, that has 100 width by 100 height, right? Uh, we didn't give it any padding on the top, bottom, left, or right, so it's all zero. We didn't give any border, so it's all zero for four sides, okay? We didn't give any margin, okay? So it's zero for all four sides, right? Uh, but the offset uh, is like this. It's the offset from the very top of your body, okay? And it says 1288, which means it's 1288 pixels from the top of the page, okay? And then it's eight pixels from the left of the page, which you see this little gap. Okay, this is the offset. So uh, by having these um, decorating properties wrapping around your uh, content box, you're able to set the final position and appearance uh, of your uh, container. Okay. And um, no matter if it's nested or not, okay, uh, even if it's nested, uh, let me go back to this nested box, okay. See, even if this is nested, this box is still independent from this box, okay. This box would have its own padding, border, margin, and offset to the orange box. Okay, and um, before I end the screencast, uh, just a caution, not all browsers treat these wrapping properties the same. Okay, Internet Explorer would have its own set of properties, um, a, a own set of ways to determine these properties. Firefox has its own way, and um, Nescape, for example, have its own way, and then Safari would have its own way. Okay, and However, um, as browser um, gets improved and uh, come out as they come out with uh, newer versions, they tend to merge, but um, there are still slight discrepancies. Okay, so uh, that's it for this screencast. Thank you.